YouTube, it's your Asian brother from another mother, J. Ru, back with another exciting episode. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to cook kale with Chinese sausage. I know traditionally it's made with bacon, but since I don't have any bacon on hand, I'm going to use some Chinese sausage. So here I'm going to use about one clove of garlic chopped up. And then I'm going to stir fry this for about 10 minutes. So let's do some preparation. So here I have my kale ready, rinsed, cut up into small pieces. So you can see, ready to go. Here's my sliced up, thinly sliced Chinese style sausage. So in case you're wondering what it tastes like, it actually tastes like kind of like beef jerky with a little teriyaki sauce added to it. So it's pretty flavorful. So it's actually made with pork and chicken. So a pack like this consists of, consists of like eight of these links. It's like about five bucks. So right here I have my wok fired up, hot, ready to go. Use some sesame oil or any type of oil that you have. Throw in my garlic let it simmer for about five seconds see how this brown is ready to go let's first add our sausage to bring out that kind of bacony smell that pork flavor wow, I wish you were here to smell this Lovely, heavenly. Let that cook for about six seconds. Just brown a little bit. Time to add our kale. Wow, that smells good. I know this looks like a lot, but vegetables can strip a lot. Let's see my stir in there. Add a little bit of salt. Now keep in mind the sauce is already flavored. A little bit of crushed red pepper. I like stuff spicy, but not too much. So keep on stirring this. Make sure you mix it. Don't let it burn or stick. Let it cook for additional eight to ten minutes. So if it ever dries up, just add a little bit more water to it. This is what it looks like after 10 minutes of cooking. Let's plate it and do a little taste test. Here it is, all plated, ready to go. Looks so lovely. Wow, the kale smell is pretty nice. So for those that don't like the branch, you actually I forgot to cut it off, but you can actually do this, use these for soup. So let me try the softer areas. So the kale is seasoned pretty good. This slight spiciness from the crushed red pepper. And here's the awesome thing. There seems like to be like a buttery flavor or taste to it, which is definitely from the Chinese sausage, maybe the way they use to preserve it. So that's a plus. 
So when you mix these two together, it brings out that buttery, kind of bacony pork taste to it. Blends well with the with this kale. So this is like a pretty good bacon substitute. So other than the the thick branches off the tip, this is actually a pretty nice, pretty nice meal. So on a scale one to hundred, I'll probably give this a eighty percent healthy, pretty good. Can't go wrong with kale.